Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Many of you have been asking that now we have built our own LLM apps, how can we deploy these LLM apps in production? Say you would want your client or your manager to go ahead and test your API endpoints in production, or you would want your friends or colleagues to test them out using various API endpoints. So in this particular video, we are going to learn how you can develop or how you can deploy your LLM apps, create various API endpoints using a simplistic and yet effective manner. We are going to learn about LangServ, which is one of the modules created by LangChain. So make sure to watch till the end. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video. I'm Sarv Agarwal, you're watching Data Hack. Now, first things first, we are going to use a Visual Studio code editor. You can use any other Python code editor as per your choice. And some of the packages that we need to install are LangChain, LangChain OpenAI, Python.env, IPyKernel, LangServ, UVCon, FastAPI, and SSE Starlet. Right? Some of the packages such as LangChain, LangChain OpenAI, Python.env, we have used in our, our existing videos, in our existing tutorials. Additional ones such as LangServ are used to create API endpoints. UVCon is used for deployment and routing. SSE Starlet is used for streaming purposes. So get these packages in requirements.txt. And uh, I'll just quickly show you how our application would look like in deployment. Okay. I have already opened or ran this uh, deployment uh, deployment server here. And within this server, uh, let me tell you what our application is doing. Our application is basically taking an input or a topic as input. Based on the topic that it receives as input, it will generate an interesting fact about that topic. Okay. So let me pass another topic. Uh, say hospital okay and i need to reset this i'll just reset pass a topic and click on start so one of the interesting fact about hospitals is that the first modern hospital was founded in the 18th century by king louis xv or king louis 15 of france so whatever that topic is the model is able to generate it gives us a desired output so this is our application looks like in deployment we can have more extensive applications that takes in multiple inputs and then generates a corresponding output as well. So, so now before let us quickly move over to the coding section and start working around on it. Okay. We have created a virtual environment named demo here, right? Uh, if you're not sure how to create a virtual environment, you can check the tutorials from virtual Env. I'll attach the link in the description. We already covered that in our earlier videos. Now, uh, in order to activate our virtual environment, we'll pass the path scripts slash activate and our environment gets activated. Our environment was already activated here, right? The next thing we are going to install the dependent packages pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. Okay. Now we'll create a new file wherein we are going to create our application test app.py. Within this, we are going to import from langchain core.proms import chat prompt. Let me just quickly check the uh, langchain core.proms. Yes. from langchain openai we are using openai as llm you can use any other right chat openai from dot env import load dot env these are the three packages uh, in order to create the model we are, let us first load the .env or the environment file here. Okay. Then the model prompt tell me an interesting joke on the topic. Okay. 
right so you can create any llm application as per your own choice you can make it as complex and with as more integrations as you would like that's completely up to the choice and for demonstration purposes we are creating a very simplistic application here right so we are create we're going to create a chain prompt and model our application is now generated the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a deployment right deploy dot py so for deployment we are going to require certain packages from fast api import fast api from lang serve import uh, app routes okay app and uh, from our own application that we created we are going to import this chain that we have generated so from test app import chain okay let us create the app uh, fast api add routes so add routes basically adds your endpoints or creates api endpoints and we can also customize the paths that we would require okay so here you will pass the app we will pass the module that we want to execute when the app is being called and we can specify the path or the endpoint say the path that i have specified here is joe okay now our application is done in order to deploy this application or execute it, we are going to run uvcon, the name of the deployment file, deploy, colon, the name of the app, which is app here, hyphen hyphen reload. Hyphen hyphen reload is essentially utilized because anytime you make a change to this deployment file and save it or to the test app file and save it, it should automatically refresh your deployment in the browser right, that you have opened. You do not have to go ahead and rerun it every time. This is the functionality of reload. You can also specify here any host that you would want to specify. By default, it takes your local host right? and also specify the port accordingly. Once I run it, we will get certain information. Uh, just give me a check. Sorry, this is add routes, not app routes, right? That's spelling error here, right? So see, now we made a change here and saved it and it automatically reloaded the page, right? We do not have to run it again and again. And here we see that our application is now running. We, we are going to open the uh, endpoint here. So our application is now running on localhost that is HTTP 127.001 and port 8000, which is the default port, right? I'll just open this link. So once you open this link, you'll see there are no details here, right? It essentially looks like that there is nothing being served on our actual application. But remember, we have specified an API endpoint, right? This is the base API endpoint on top of which we have specified an API endpoint named as joke. I'll show you what where we have specified it. Just let me go back. Yes. So here, if you look at it, we have specified an API endpoint, which is slash joke. So on our base, right, on our base API endpoint, which is at the local host, we have to call joke, right? And here again, if you look at it, the way Langserve serves things is with an, any API endpoint, you need to open with slash joke, slash playground, and therefore you will have your application deployed. This is where you will find the UI for your application, wherein you can go ahead and test them out. Let me give uh, any topic. Let's consider elephant. It just comes at the top of my mind. You can give any other. Why did the elephant bring a suitcase to the party? Because he wanted to pack his trunk. So that's uh, the sweet thing about this Langser. You can readily and very easily deploy your LLM applications. Let your friends test them out. You can deploy it on any other servers you would like. Here we have deployed it on localhost. Now, specifically, if you want me to cover deployment on any cloud service, say for instance, AWS, then let me know in the comments and I would want a target of at least 100 likes for this video so that we can extensively be motivated and go ahead to bring more and more such videos in the future, help you out, become a master of generative AI, 
so if you learned something new give a thumbs up see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind